Hello guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. And today I'll be showing you how to blow up the earth. Yes, set it on fire. Everything. Yeah, okay. Well, not really, but in Photoshop anyway. Okay, so I'm going to make a new file, a quite large file I might add. So just go to File and New and type in these numbers I'm going to show you here. Yes. But once we're all done, it'll be a smaller file, just for the point being now, making it large. Okay, it's going to be white, but we're now going to change that to a black color. Yeah, man. So just go right here, select on granite, and you're going to select radical. You're going to reverse that, and then you're going to select the black and white thing, thingamajigger. That one right there. So now you got black and white going on. Oh yeah, I'm just going to name these layers to make it easier on me. And you can too if you'd like, but you don't have to. Then I'm going to go up here and select artistic and I'm going to click on these. Yep, plastic wrap. Okay, when you click on plastic wrap, you have to click OK when it says rasterize layer. Yep, just do that, you're good. And then type in these numbers here on the plastic wrap effect here. 19, 5, and 3. Then click OK and you're going to get that effect right there. So, we have that done. We're going to go back up here. And we're going to now select glowing edges. Again, type in these numbers I'm showing you here. And once done, click OK and you're going to have the following effect that I will show you. Which will be that effect right there. You should have something of that matter. All right, yeah, something just like that. Then again, go into your filter and select stained glass. And once you type in my fine numbers I'm showing you, you will be then all set and click OK and you're gonna have this effect right here. Oh yeah, that is sick, man. All right, go into canvas size and type in this number here. Under your pit, make sure you select pixels by the way, just as shown. We're gonna double size our canvas now so we have a bigger workspace. Okay, yeah, man. And make sure the color is black for the uh, new background. All right, you got that going on. It should be like that, just as that. And you're gonna duplicate your city lights layer and then you're gonna make them with the background layer. You're gonna do control E and merge them with the background. So you got city lights. And your city lights copy. So merge city lights with the background. Like that. Yep, control E. Now, on the city lights copy, that's selected now. We're going to rename, I'm going to rename that flames. Yeah, man. Okay. Then we're going to go up here and select radical blur on the flames layer. And this is going to create the flames for your fiery type uh, earth. Type in these numbers here for the first uh, part and then click OK uh, with a large file it's going to take some time to process so I sped it up for y'all took me about 10 minutes okay you're gonna get that oh that is cool but if you don't like that effect for yours well then you could go back and redo it but we're gonna go back in here and do the wave this will now create the flamey effect ish so, you're gonna, this is the first of the flame effect, the first wave we're going to do. We're going to do three waves, by the way. So this is the first one. Just type in these n numbers here for the first one. Alright, you got the first flame slash fiery thing going on. Yeah. Alright, so once you have those numbers done, click OK. And then, go back up into your filter again and select wave for a second time again on the flame layer this time just click randomize and randomly select a flame that you think is cool okay click randomize a few times so you can get a cool effect and once you've gotten your cool effect then click OK again yeah I'm just going and seeing what's good <laughs> okay so I think I got mine good there we go then for the third time and the last time, go in there and click wave again. And then for the third consecutive time, click randomize a few times or once or twice. <laughs> and click OK and you're going to have the following effect. Maybe not that effect, but a, a, an effect similar to that. OK, once you have the effect you like, change that layer to screen. 
explain later on the screen and lower the opacity a bit. Yeah. Okay. We're getting somewhere now. <laughs> Just make it so it's 70%. Okay, screen 70%. Now we're good. Now we have to go over here. Select the background layer. And you're going to create a copy of the background layer. And move it to the top. Yep, like that. And then, I don't know why I just double clicked on that. Didn't mean to. We're going to name this one now. Or I'm going to anyway. Naming it Smoke. We're going to make Smoke now. So, with that now done, we're going to go over here. And we're going to select Render. And we're going to select Different Clouds. Yeah, just like that, man. Then we're going to do it again. For a second time. And maybe because I'm feeling awesome, we'll do it a third time. Okay, that's my third time. So yeah, looks chill. I just zoomed out a bit just so you can see it. Alrighty then. Now, we're going to change that layer to Color Dodge. Oh, look at that. Now we got to make it look all fiery, right? Yeah, let's add some color, baby. So you're going to click down there, and you're going to add a color balance layer. Yeah, color balance layer thing. New adjustment layer of color balance. And type in these numbers here, as shown. And we should get a cool color for our flames. Slash blown up earth. Alrighty then. We're getting somewhere. And in case you didn't know, this is going to be a part two, a two-part tutorial because it's pretty long and pretty involved. So yeah, just thought I'd clue you in on that. Okay, so we're getting close to being done with our colors right now. So yeah, all right. Jeez, this takes forever. Come on, I want to get to the Earth part. I want to blow up the Earth. Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get we're go we're getting there. Trust me. All right, yay, we're done with that. Okay, so now we have our color on our thing. We're gonna now select the Earth picture we have, and you're gonna paste the Earth picture you have on here. Just select a small portion of your Earth you have. Any fine looking Earth is fine. Earth is Earth, right? Okay, you may need to resize your Earth if it's not large enough for your thing or photo. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Hello, Earth. How you doing? We're going to blow you up today. Okay. So now that I have my photo all blown up and coolish, I'm just going to name that layer Earth. Duh. And with it named now, I'm going to go up here. Up here. And I'm going to select the eraser brush. Um, just a large brush of maybe 200px or 300px, whichever you prefer. You're going to um, add a mask layer to that, by the way. And now you're going to erase almost the whole Earth. Basically the whole thing, except for part of it. You're going to leave part of it so it looks like it's been blown up. Ah, goodbye, Earth. Die. <laughs> okay, just like this. Um, and you can erase whatever parts you want of your Earth. You can blow up the whole thing or leave half of it or whatever. Doesn't really matter. This is all erasing whatever you want of your Earth. And you can always go back and re-edit this if you need to. There's always a way to re-edit it, trust me. Okay, and that's the way my Earth's going to look. Just as such. Pretty sweet. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to go over here and add a new adjustment layer of hue and saturation. Hue and saturation adjustment layer. And with this, you're going to make sure you click on clipping mask. So you clip that mask down below. Yeah. And then you're going to adjust the, the saturation and in, in, in lightness to a um, darker color of your choosing. Um, there's no really... Yeah, like that. See, there you go. That's dark enough for me. If it's dark enough for me, it's dark enough for you. <laughs> okay. But really, your preference is all here. Okay, there we go. My earth's dark enough for me. So now, we're going to go down here. Or up here. And we're going to make a new layer. A new uh, a new page. Or a new canvas, rather. 
So with this new canvas open of that size I just showed, you're going to go up here and click Render and Clouds. We're going to make uh, clouds, like literally clouds for this thing. And it might take a while to render because of the fact that we have a large canvas. And uh, yeah, now that you got that going on, just do a Control A X and you can cut and paste it right back onto your other cameras you're working on. Don't ask why we can't do it on the other canvas. Don't ask me. Just ask the people that show me how to do this. Okay? Yeah. So now paste it on there at the top. Top of your screen. Yeah, man. Okay, we got it going on now. So now we're going to need that cloud layer. Clouds above you in saturation. And now we're going to add a mask layer to that. Click on the little square circular box. Yeah. And you're going to make that a black mask. So just do whatever yeah, the word said. And you should get that. Okay. Once you have that going on, you're going to change that to lighten. And then we're going to go up here. We're going to select brushes. We're going to select a big brush of large size. Soft round brush. You're going to change the opacity to about 15% or lower. Doesn't matter. 15% or lower is fine. Um, make sure your brush is white. And you're now going to brush on some of your clouds to your earth. So it looks like it's actually in the sky. Okay. Um, whatever looks good for you. Um, mine looks this way. But if you want to make yours look weirder or awesomer, go right ahead. Don't really care right now. This is mine. But yours can be different. Really all personal preference. And if you need to change your brush size for whatever reason, you can. I don't really care if you do or you don't. Okay. So, so far, that's what mine looks like right now. It looks pretty chill. It's a pretty awesome earth right now. It just sucks that I had to get blown up today. <laughs> okay. Then, control click on the thumbnail of earth so that you can select it. So you got a, so you got a selection. Then you're going to create a new fill layer. So go to layers and new fill layer. Solid color, by the way. Solid color fill. And make sure the color is black, is white. There you go. White color fill. And look at that. You got a, should, have a, should have a masked out circle there. Change the fill to zero. And move that fill color below the clouds. And change that to outer glow. I mean, inner glow. Why did I just type outer glow? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay, well anyway, click on that. And click on inner glow. And on the inner glow settings, select a dark red color of such. Any dark red color is fine. Um, there's no set color number thing anywhere. It's your preference here again. And then make sure these are set. No, make, make sure you have normal and those colors and that number set. Okay, you're good. Then you want to duplicate that layer a couple times. Inner glow two times. So you have two copy layers. You're going to move those down. Down the bench. <laughs> down, down above the background layer. Right there. Okay. Then you're going to click on that again. And you're going to add an outer glow. So unselect inner glow and add outer glow instead. On the, for, on the second copy. Then with the second copy you're going to make it normal. And again opacity 100%. And the size again 109. Or 106 sorry. And you're going to look, ooh, look at that. Oh, that's flaming. Awesome. Now you're going to select another dark red color. Um, any dark red color is fine again. But if you like that color we had before, keep it there. Why not, right? Okay. Just messing around trying to find a good, awesome red color. This defines your flames right here. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's flame it. Let's flame it. Yeah, that's good for me. Okay. Then you're going to go and just click OK. Then on the third, now, now that we're done with that, we're going to move on to part two. Stay tuned. We're going to blow things up even more. Oh, yeah.